Hello Ableton lovers, this is Freddy Frogs, a certified Ableton trainer. And today in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a linear progressive tempo change in the session view of Ableton Live. So we've all wanted to do this, create a slow raising tempo for our tracks or even for our performances on stage. Now we all know we can do this using an automation on the master track in the arrangement view. Simply select the song tempo here and create an automation this way. But that's no good to us if we're on stage since we're not going to use the arrangement view. So how do we do this on the session view? It's not as straightforward as it is in the arrangement view. However, it is possible. Something I didn't think was possible for many years and then I found out. So do not confuse this technique with the edit launch tempo one. This is a pretty straightforward one. Whereas a tempo is assigned to a scene and as soon as I launch the scene the tempo adapts. These tempo changes are brutal, abrupt, with jumping from one BPM to another one, for example from 100 to 140 BPM here. So that's no good to me, I want a slow raising tempo change. So this tutorial addresses Mac users since Macs have a built-in virtual MIDI interface. Let's go and fetch it. If you go to your applications utility find the audio MIDI setup. When you open this guy you will have the option under the MIDI studio window here you will have the option to access the MIDI ISC driver. Open that window and create a bus using the plus button here. Activate the bus and that's it you're good to quit this application now. Now in Ableton Live this bus is seen in your MIDI sync tab like a possible destination for your MIDI messages. So you need to enable the input track remote switches and the output track remote switches. Cool. Now let's just create a brand new MIDI track to create the tempo change. Open the I.O. section of the track using this little icon here and in the MIDI 2 section target the IAC bus. Now any MIDI message generated by this track will be sent out of Ableton Live and into the ISC bus. Now to create the curve, the automation, I'm going to need a clip. This is called a dummy clip since it doesn't generate any notes and instead it's only used as a support to write the automation. Let's open the envelope control here and in the MIDI control choose one of these numbers. Now I want the tempo change here to occur over 8 bars, so I'm going to set an 8 bar long loop and I'm going to write or create my envelope like I did in the arrangement view but not this time into a clip like so. Now you may want to have a curved one or a straight line linear or exponential, it's up to you. Good, let's make sure that the clip plays all along that way, that's it. So we need now to map this number, number 26 in this case, to our tempo here. So how do we do this? Well, I'm simply going to run the clip and whilst it's running, I'm going to enter the MIDI mapping mode. Command M, that's it. Now I click once on the tempo control and you see the number has automatically been assigned to it. Now you may need to delete the same mapping here on the clip that occurred accidentally and open your MIDI list. So this is in your browser whilst in the blue mode, in the MIDI mapping mode and now you can set the range of the movement. So let's say from 100 to 140 BPM. That's exactly what I need. Cool. Let's get out of the MIDI mapping mode. I think we're almost good to go now. Let's just run this tempo change. I'm simply going to trigger the scene which in turn triggers the clip which in turn sends the MIDI messages to the tempo control. Let's do it. Watch the tempo. It's following that curve. Perfect. That's something I've been wanting to do for so long in Ableton Live. I'm so glad I was able to show that to you guys. Now the IAC driver has many implications and can be used in many scenarios. I will probably show you on another tutorial how to use it to create follow actions for your scenes.